Hey there, this is Tim Friedel and welcome to my Firelist review. Now, in a nutshell, Firelist allows you to send out unlimited emails with your own SMTP. That means email services like SendGrid, SparkPost, Elastic Mail, Amazon, uh, Milgun, or your own SMTP from your web hosting. Um, but that's not all. Firelist also warms up your IPs and your email addresses. Now, what does that mean? When you have a new domain and you want to send out emails from that domain, uh, you need to warm up your list. So that means that you need to send out emails and people need to open your emails, need to click on your emails, your e uh, IP addresses needs to warm up. And that's also something that will be automated in the background with Firelist. Um, if you compare this, Firelist uh, is similar to MailZap, which has been released in the past. Only this is based on your own sending servers. Um, also, it has some automation that I'm going to show you. But before I'm going to show you everything, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video where you can find more information about the pricing. Um, let me quickly bring this up for you, uh, the pricing, because Mill um, or Firelist here has an early bird price uh, for 37 or 47. There are two options on the front end and the coupons will be provided on the sales page. And after four hours, it will cost you 47 and 67 dollars. So make sure if this sounds interesting to you that you grab it with the early bird uh, to save some extra money. All right, let me show you what Firelist is. So once I logged in, uh, this is what you will see. You will see your dashboard with your contacts, your business details, etc. cetera. Uh, but the most important thing is that you can import your subscribers. Now, you can import as many contacts as you like. Uh, you can create a new list here, but once you're in this list, uh, you can simply upload your, uh, your contacts. So let's say I'm in here, and these are all test contacts in here, but I want to add subscribers. You simply click on add subscriber. You can import this from a file. You can copy paste this or manually add them one by one. Uh, and then you've added your new uh, contacts to your list. Now, then the second thing here is the broadcast. This will be the most used featured uh, together with the workflow here. The workflow is some very cool automation, uh, which is not included in uh, the previous version of Mails app. Now, all you need to do is click on create new broadcast and then you can give your broadcast a name. So uh, review broadcast, let's call it this way. And then simply click on create and you have the option to do the HTML editor, the plain background or the other option, forgot about that one. Uh, but you can give your broadcast a name here. You can add some text and you simply go through this process. So you wanna send it to your list. If you have multiple lists, you can select that in here. You can also exclude specific lists that you don't wanna to send to and simply go through this menu, your sender address, your subject line. So this is a demo uh, email and simply click on uh, save. You could also do a preview text. So when you open your mobile phone and you see an email, the first line that you're gonna read is the preview text in here. Um, and then answer your plain text. So in here, you can add your details. So let's say uh, Bitcoin mining, I'm gonna send something about Bitcoin mining. Let me quickly grab a part from the, from the internet here, just to add some content uh, in this email. So let's simply copy this, go back to fire list in here, and then this is my text. Now, the first thing that you need to do uh, in order to email this text is you need to generate results. So let me remove myself. Uh, you see here this button generate result. What this will do is it will generate text by the AI and it will also um, give some, some, um, some feedback on your content. So this is neutral. This is a positive line and this is a negative line. So this is very cool. If you want to modify this and you want to have everything neutral or positive, then you can change it and you can regenerate it. Also, uh, the, the AI will generate text for you. So if there is some text in here that you want to use that think is better than the thing that you've wrote written in the email, then you can also use the text in here. In this case, I'm going to save my results. And after you save your results, you can open the editor in here. So right now 
this is the editor and here you can start uh, yeah, writing your emails. Now, there are also other options to also have some templates, etc. This is the simple text editor. Personally, I always like the simple text editors. And once you're done, uh, you can say, okay, I want to send a test email. So you can send a test email to yourself. And then you click on send email. And of course, you need to configure SMTP details. But then it says test broadcast sent, sent successfully. And now it will arrive in your inbox. So when I go to my inbox in here, uh, you can see here, this is a previous one. Want to learn more about Bitcoin? This is how your emails will arrive. Let me check quickly in my inbox if this one is already here. Yes, my de demo email is also in my inbox. What's Bitcoin mining? As you can see here, you see the email, uh, you see the unsubscribe link and the address that you filled out uh, when you configured your email. And then you can click on save and next. And in here, uh, you can say, okay, you can schedule your email or you can send it now. So if you send it now, it will be sent immediately. And you click, if you click on schedule, you can say, I wanna schedule it for tomorrow at 2 p.m. for example. And then you can select the time zone and then you can schedule it. You can also click on send now and then your broadcast will be sent. So when I click send now, let's just do this. Send now, it will be sent within 10 minutes. And then in here, uh, you also got the online version. So when you click on view email, you can see this is the email that's being sent. You can also view the reports once it's being sent. Uh, you can see all of your details in here, how many opens, clicks, unsubscribes, etc. cetera. Um, and then you go back to the main menu and this is the broadcast uh, function of Firelist. And like I said, when you create a new broadcast, you can also do a drag and drop editor. So let's quickly uh, type something in here. Let me see if I can show you this quickly as well. And again, you go through the same process in here. So you give this broadcast a name uh, and then you click on save, select the list that you want to send this to, uh, the from address, the subject, let's call this the same, and then the design. Again, you need to fill out something in here and then generate the results, save your results, and then open it in the editor. And in here, you can also choose from the templates that are available. So let's say you want to choose this template, then you can start working with this template in here. Um, and of course, it works exactly the same. And you can start sending this email as well. All right, then let's talk about um, the cool thing in here, which is the workflow. This is very powerful. I really like this, uh, where you can create workflows. So let's call this work workflow one. And in here, you can set up workflows when somebody joins your list, for example. Uh, you can start here. When a contact joins a list or unsubscribes a list or a timer, let's say when somebody joins a list, what you can do then in here is you can say, okay, I want to send this person an email when somebody joins my list. And then you can connect it in here. And this is a visual campaign builder, as you can see. So once somebody joins a list, you can select your list in here, then send an email. And then you can also add some conditions. You can say, okay, um, if email, and let's connect this, let's open this, double click this. If email is opened or not opened, clicked or not clicked. So let's say this email has not been opened within within two days in here. You can save this and continue. So now you're going to say, okay, if this email has not been opened within two days, I'm going to uh, send another email. And if it's opened, I'm going to send another email. But if it's not opened, I want to send them the same email, but with a, a different subject, for example. And this way you can build out your campaigns uh, with all kinds of conditions. You can remove contacts. So let's say they also didn't open this email. You're gonna do another condition. If email here, for example, if this email uh, is also not opened, for example, not opened for another two days, you can say, I wanna uh, add this person to another list. So let's say I wanna add this to my warm up list and you're gonna do an action for this list to be warmed up. And as you can see, this is very powerful. You can go so many ways here, send email, remove contacts, add a delay. So you can also say, okay, after this email, uh, I wanna wait for an X amount of hours or for, let's say I wanna wait for, for another day. Uh, and then 
after that day, I want to send another email here. So you can really build up follow up campaigns uh, with this automation campaign. And I think this is very powerful. This is also what I'm using with Infusionsoft, uh, which is costing me a few hundred dollars per month. Um, and yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I talked about uh, the auto warm up campaigns. You can also find that in here. So here you can create a new warm up campaign. So you can give this a value. So let's say this is my warm up campaign. And then you can select your SMTP account that you have connected. So let's say I'm going to do my Milgun API account. Now, let me quickly show you how that works as well. Because in Firelist here, when I go to Milgun, you simply only add a title, an API key, domain, and your sender name. So this is my Milgun account. As you can see here, I've added this milg.timverdow.com to Milgun. And then the only thing that you need to do is go to your API keys and then get your private key. So this will bring you to your private keys in here. And you can copy this key here, the key that shows here. You go to Firelist, add that key in here, give this a title, enter in your uh, domain name, and then type your email address. Let me remove myself again. So your domain name in here, your API key, and your email address, and then you're ready to start using Firelist. Now, once you've done that, you can warm up this new email address. So this new API connection, you simply click on Next, and then in here, uh, you can choose the category that you're active in. So let's say you're active in marketing, you select marketing, and then an email template will be added in here. And then you can click next and it will be saved. Then you can select the email service provider. So a spam filter check, a pop popular US business US Canada email addresses. As you can see here, Russia, Brazil, you can select all of those. And once it's saved, you can select a warm up campaign. So let's say marketing again. Let's click next. And then in here, uh, you can schedule this to send out daily, weekly, uh, time of recurrence. You need to add the value in here. And then once you're done, this campaign will run on autopilot and it will start warming up your IP address and uh, your, your sender address as well so that your emails arrive to the inbox. Now, I haven't tested this personally. Um, because I just got access to a fire list. So I cannot tell you how it exactly works, uh, but this is what I see when I do a walkthrough. Then there are also signup forms. I know that this question comes a lot. Can I create my own signup forms? Yes, you can. Uh, you can create many as many as you like in here. You simply click on create new form. Let's call this form two and click on create. Oh, you need to select your list. So when somebody signs up to this form, uh, you select your list that they need to be signed up to. And here you can uh, design your signup form. Now, everything can be modified in here. So you can say, I want to change the background color to black, for example. That's possible. When you want to change this font, that's also possible. Uh, you can change all the things in here. Let's say you want to have this white. You can see everything changes in here. You can also get rid of... Uh, the email marketing by, you can remove the footer text in here. Uh, you can also add some extra fields. So here are uh, the full name, the email address. Uh, you can change the border colors. You can change the font types, the font uh, sizes, uh, the field colors, uh, but also select fields. You can also add more fields in here. So you can do an address, for example, you can do a city. Uh, and once you're done, you can simply save and publish this. And then you have saved your email list, uh, your, your sign up from now. Under more, you can also get a direct URL where people can sign up. So you can use this URL if you want to give a link where people can sign up. You can get an embed code so that you can add it to your website. And the opt-in settings in here, you can do a single opt-in or a double opt-in. You can send a welcome email or not. Uh, the thank you page, a custom thank you page if you like. You can do alert, alert notifications when somebody signs up. And this is how you create forms with Firelist. So we got the subscribers, we got the segments in here. So you can also create segments. When you click on new segment, you can say, okay, uh, when this list, uh, I want to create a segment of this list. And then you can click on create. And this already uh, exists. So let's call this segment G. And then you can create this in here. 
And you can give all specific kind of conditions. So when the last name, when the phone number, when the email address matches with. So let's say when the first name matches with or is equal to or contains, uh, then they will be added to this specific segment. And then you can also start emails or segmenting pe uh, people in your Firelist account. So we got the subscribers, we got the segments, we got our tags in here. So you can also create different kinds of tags. You can send out broadcasts, as you can see in here. Uh, you can do an SMTP inbox checker. Uh, I haven't tested this yet because it was not active while I was testing it um, because I got early access right now. Uh, but this is where you walk through, where you say, okay, you're going to give this a title. You go to next in here. You select the email providers again, click on next. Uh, you can send select your seed list in here, click on next. And then once you're done here, it says, okay, uh, you can now view your reports. Now this will take some time. And that's why I said, I haven't tested this yet because uh, I've done this an hour ago and this haven't run yet. Uh, but here you should be able to see the details from the emails that have been delivered. But as you can see here, uh, it's still waiting. It's still waiting for the authentication. And I guess that's everything that I have to show in here. Out the warm signup forms, the workflow, and of course the reports in here where you can see the reports for all of the email uh, broadcasts that you send out. And that is what Firelist is all about. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned it, but there is a link in the description of this video that will redirect you to my website. Uh, where you can find more information about the pricing. Uh, like I said, it starts with $37 and $47 for the front-end options for the first uh, four hours, and then the price will go to $47 and $67, one-time payment. Um, I don't have the details right now from the upsells, but I will make sure that everything will be added on my website as well so that you can check that out. There's also a bundle deal uh, where you can purchase the whole funnel for a discounted price. So if you're serious, then this is also very interesting. So make sure to check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to ask them in the comments below. And uh, please like this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like to get more of my updates. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I hope to see you in my next review. Talk soon. Bye-bye.